Hi, this is Van Lam. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am a part-time artist. I'm 33 years old. I have two kids. This is me. <laughs> um, in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, art block because I've been having severe art block uh, this past month, I believe. And this drawing right there, it's the first full drawing I've done in weeks. I don't even remember when... Uh, yeah, I don't remember the last one I did. Maybe it was a quick sketch or something. But uh, yeah, this uh, art block has been intense on me and I was extremely tired with my life and work and family and all. But I will be honest, it's mostly the art block that stopped me from drawing. And uh, it's always the same thing that happened. Every time I don't draw for a few days or a week, I, I get scared to draw again. Like I forgot how to draw and then I try and everything is ugly and it's like I regressed. I'm a few years behind. I don't know any proportions anymore, my colors are flat, what I'm drawing is boring and I'm so scared that I'm gonna draw something that's bad that I just don't draw because I'm only allowed perfection <laughs> and that's the mistake here because I would tell everybody that we don't need to be perfect and we're gonna improve over time and I know it's the truth but why can't I apply it for myself? It's hard, huh? I know that many of us are like that and it's so annoying to be my own... Sorry, it's so annoying to be my own bully, for real. Mm. And I noticed that those kind of art blocks, they always happen when I have projects. When there's things I gotta do. So right now I know that I should be starting to prepare for my upcoming Comic Con. I have a Montreal Mini Comic Con uh, the weekend of December 2nd. And it's gonna be amazing and fun and I can't wait. But I wanted to um, have a new um, sticker series. So I wanted to make some drawings of uh, characters from The Office and also some uh, anime characters like from Attack on Titan, uh, One Piece. I want some more um, vari variety <laughs> to what I already got. And uh, it feels like because I know that I need to be drawing these things, that I want to draw everything except these things. And when I try to draw those, it was ugly and I cried. Yeah, I cried over drawings. Probably not the only one, but I will admit I cried over drawings. Because it didn't look the way it should. And I was mad and oh, I don't know how to draw anymore. And then you feel like this whole time, all the drawings I've made up to this point, it was pure luck and the fraud has been exposed. It's over. <laughs> but it's not. And... Every time I start to act like that, my boyfriend reminds me that every time I say that, I end up doing a drawing and leveling up randomly just because I gave myself the right to just draw something that is unrelated to what I'm supposed to do, which is that drawing, by the way. And uh, I thought, okay, I'll just do a comfort zone drawing. And these are usually for me some cute girls because I love drawing them and that's what I'm the best at, more comfortable doing. So I started her and at first I wasn't sure and I took a break of like a week before continuing and the other night I was in bed and tired and kind of felt like a loser <laughs> because I didn't draw in a while and I was like, why am I doing this to myself? I love to draw so much! And here I'm not drawing because I'm scared of failure. This is what it is. So I'm like, okay, this is a drawing that is unrelated to my projects. So if I fail, it doesn't matter. It has no consequences. And anyways, I got a draw to just 
keep the habit, <laughs> not lose uh, my skills, even though they're not lost, they, they come back. But yeah, I want to uh, keep in artistic shape. So I drew and it was fun and I feel like I leveled up a bit with this one. And it, this helps and it's just reminding me that as always, it is just a bad voice in my head and everything's gonna be fine. So yeah, this is uh, what happened with that drawing. But I still have stuff I want to do, but just gonna take it one day at a time. And I've been watching a lot of uh, other artists, YouTubers lately and just doing videos like I'm doing right now, you know, like I see them drawing and they're talking and just love hearing everybody's perspectives and seeing them do their things and being honest and vulnerable about their feelings on art. And I think doing that also gave me the motivation to just do this drawing. And now that I've done this drawing, I want to make more art and I've got quite a busy weekend coming up, but I will try to make time to draw some stuff and take it no pressure. I even took um, a week of vacation off before my next convention, so I have one week to prepare and uh, we shall see how that goes because often when I've done that randomly like I'll be sick or my kids will be sick and I won't be able to have anything done because I'll be busy. But uh, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't stop life from doing its thing. But one day at a time, I'm gonna continue and uh, it will <laughs> continue to grow. Mm. And this is also my 10th video. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, my 10th YouTube video. And the reason I didn't do YouTube before was also because I was scared. And I have no idea where this channel, sorry, I have no idea where this channel is gonna go. But I know that it's fun and it's making me proud to see like what I've done up to this point and it's motivating and it's starting to look like a rich it's starting to look like a real channel like can i call myself a youtuber yet i feel like i'm becoming one it's not just uh, the hobby of the week i've been at it for three months and pretty far for the yeah pretty far to be a, a partner but it is still my goal and i know that Sometimes it takes just one random video for people to discover me and maybe they will like what I do. I was talking to uh, one of my friends earlier and she said, you know that someday someone is gonna discover you and just binge watch all of your videos like in one evening. And that made me feel so good because it, I guess it's true because I do that. Like I will randomly come across a page I've never seen and I'm like, hey, that's interesting. And if I like the vibe and the art, I'll just have this play and I will draw along and like, it will feel like I made a new friend. So I hope I can become the friend behind the screen for some of you. I'm friendly. <laughs> I love to talk, I love to share, uh, I love to be open, honest, so um, I think it's very fun. And it's also um, a different feeling on YouTube than it is um, on Instagram. Because I feel like on Instagram, it's like a portfolio. So you want all of your posts to look very good, I'm scared to post sketches, I'm scared people won't like my stuff, so I don't post mo much sketches, it depends. And even that drawing there that I made, like I feel like it's one of my best I've done so far or in a while at least. 
barely got a few likes but if i do a silly reel like a relatable art meme reel then oh i can get a lot of views and uh, some followers out of it comments and all i think it's cool that i can uh, bring people with my silly reels but i would i would love for the art to have that much of a reach as well but uh, now that I see that IG is pretty dead for artists, well, some people still manage to break through, but for me, I don't know what to do. I feel like I would have to post uh, like reels all the time, and since I don't have time to draw as much as I would like, I can't just produce reels non stop every day. So then I tried to post reels with uh, me wearing wigs and doing art memes and they work but I don't want my Instagram to turn only into um, some kind of art reel page. These are fun but like my the essence of my account is to show my art. So I'm trying to balance a bit of everything. So what I love about YouTube is the fact that it's a behind the scene and I noticed that some accounts that maybe I would not have followed on IG I would follow on YouTube and because I love the YouTube the behind the scenes them talking about what they're doing seeing their process and all make it makes me want to go follow them after that on IG so it goes back to the fact that IG is like a portfolio. So it's not that that person's art wasn't good or anything like that. It's just that it's, it feels like if it's not like um, posted in a certain aesthetic, maybe it won't just attract your eye. And also we don't want like follow everybody nonstop or like, okay, I, I should choose a bit. I don't know, it's just uh, it's a weird, um, I don't know if I would say culture, but uh, it's another vibe. And after watching many people on YouTube talking about art and their journey, I feel like it is uh, a more sustainable way to grow and build my own community. When I had 300 followers on IG, I had way more reach than I do now at over 3,000. So it just feels a bit pointless from time to time, I will admit. But uh, I don't want to put all my eggs into one basket and uh, I'm doing a bit of everything. So this um, art block I've been having, <laughs> I didn't want to not post at all so that's why i've been making a bunch of reels so at least i have something to show and hopefully now i'm back <laughs> i will try to be um at least content wise for youtube i don't feel like i would uh, miss ideas because i honestly have a note a blog note in my phone with dozens of ideas for future videos it's mostly for uh, process videos that I need to actually draw, but to talk, I can talk for hours about anything, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, um, I don't know how uh, everybody's feeling these days, if uh, the art block is uh, seasonal or if for you it's project oriented like me knowing you have something to do and because you need to do it you don't want to do it or you can't do it kind of like hey i should be studying so instead of, i'll cook do the dishes reorganize my pantry <laughs> everything but the exact task you're supposed to do mm, i do that a lot yeah but I am also a very um, neuro spicy lady, so I think it has to do with that or not. You can let me know what you think. Hmm. So this drawing is pretty much over at that point. I was just trying to add the finishing touches. 
make it pop a little. I don't know if people would prefer to um, have the recording of uh, the iPad screen like I did in the video or if um, you'd like me to record um, over the iPad as I'm drawing or maybe I can do uh, a mix of both. I've seen people do both and it looks cool too. So um, I'm always open to suggestions. Here I'm just... Uh, just a girl experimenting <laughs> with the art, with the video editing, a very new world to me. But every day I open uh, YouTube studio and every time I see I've got like new followers, new comments, new likes, it always makes me feel so happy and seen and it motivates me to continue. And I'm proud of what happened so far and let me know what you think and how you relate to uh, everything that I've said in this video. Your opinion matters to me, I think it's very fun to uh, exchange and uh, if you liked, please like and subscribe, <laughs> it means a lot to me and it will bring me one step closer to realize my dream of becoming YouTube partner. <laughs> Thank you very much and uh, have a good day. Thank you for listening to my rambling. Bye-bye. <laughs>